So ladies and gentlemen, today's video is a very interesting one. Misconceptions about the Lord of the Ascendant, which is known as Lagna Lord, Ascendant Lord, Lord of the Rising Sign. All right, so many times people, they ask these questions to me uh, in YouTube or during consultations and I'm like, okay, where did you hear this? So what is the biggest misconception? Mm -hmm. The biggest misconception is the Lagna Lord is always auspicious. And I'm like, okay, but he has to be auspicious, right? He should be, he must be, he needs to be. <laughs> well, he is auspicious, although uh, provided he is well placed for you. Okay. So if the Lagna Lord is not well placed, then the dasha of that lagnesh can give you difficulties and challenges. What do I mean by this? For example, see, what, what does the lagnesh show actually? You have to understand this. The lagnesh shows your focus area. It doesn't show success or failure. It doesn't show that. It shows where you are focused, where you are putting your energy. That is what the lagnesh uh, depicts actually. So, if the lagnesh is badly placed, then it can mean that you're focused on wrong things. Have you seen people always uh, finding faults, always uh, criticizing others or doubting themselves, self-doubt, or trying to pull others down, or not putting efforts, lazy people, procrastinating all the time, okay? What, what is this actually? This is, so, what is procrastination? Procrastination means focusing on laziness, right? So sometimes people say that, sir, I am not focused in life. Can you help me to become more focused? I said, no, you're wrong. You are focused. But the problem is you are focused on wrong things. All right. So the Lagna Lord will show focus. Everybody in this world, 24 hours, they are focused on life. Remember that. Nobody lacks focus. But then why do we say this person is very focused? This person is not very focused. This means the person is focused on the right things. And the person who we claim to be not having focus is not focused on the right things. Instead, they are focused on the wrong things. Okay. So for example, if a person is just watching uh, TV and Netflix and YouTube and just doing nothing in life, then the person is focused on watching TV, right? The person is focused. Like Krishna says in Gita, it's like one pointed focus. So, uh, so therefore, uh, don't just blindly jump into conclusion. Oh, Lagnesh is here. This will happen. Blah, blah, blah. So you have to analyze from all angles of astrology. Where is the Lagna Lord placed in your bhava chart? Okay. So the bhava chart will tell you which house the person is focusing in. And then you have to see in the lagna chart which uh, sign he is placed in okay so that will tell you what is the level of awareness so suppose somebody's lagna lord is in the 11th house but it is in um, but it is uh, let's take moon for example moon uh, cancer ascendant i mean moon is uh, in the 11th house in taurus so then moon is exalted here so what does this mean? This means that the person and, and uh, the person is uh, focused towards gains, money and wealth and all these things. But that's the house. But how is the person doing it? What is the awareness that the dignity of the sign will tell? So if uh, moon is in Taurus, then it is exalted. So which means Lagnesh is in 11th and it is exalted. So this means the person is not just blindly doing things without knowing anything. The person is highly aware and the person is responsible. Okay. So, but now see, now that's, that's the tricky part. It depends on the overall chart if a placement is good or bad. Because sometimes an exalted lagnesh can be uh, very bad and a debilitated lagnesh can be very good. If, um, if the chart is flowing somewhere else, okay. So for example, 
if a person has prominent uh, most of the planets in the nakshatras of the second lord, sixth lord, tenth lord, or eleventh lord, then this is a very money oriented horoscope. A lot of money is there in the horoscope. And now suppose the Lagnesh is in the fifth house. Now fifth house is the twelfth from the sixth. It doesn't show that great money. It shows a lot of uh, hobbies and you know creativity. It doesn't show physical, literal wealth in Kali Yuga. Okay. It shows the wealth of happiness and knowledge, wisdom, intelligence and all this, but not literal money. Okay. That's not the fifth house. Neither is the ninth house. So now suppose somebody has uh, Lagnesh in the fifth. Okay, so let's uh, take uh, Taurus Lagna's example. Taurus Lagna, Venus is in fifth house. It is in debility because it's in Virgo, right? So in this case, this can be a very good placement. Why? Because now the person wants to be creative, but because of the low awareness, the person is not able to do much. So then naturally he goes inclined towards more of money. Now, if you are asking for money, then this placement is good. But if you ask for uh, spirituality, is this good? Well, then that's a separate story. For that, we have to analyze the overall horoscope. So, so do not blindly say uh, Lagnesh Dasha is there, so it will always be good. Okay? Or uh, Lagnesh is badly placed, so it will always be bad. It is not like this. Wherever Lagnesh is, that area gets magnified. But the good can be magnified, bad can also be magnified. Okay. And this is another misconception that uh, Lagnesh is exalted, so it is always good. Yes, ideally it is good if the overall chart is good for that particular area of life. But if it is not, then this exalted Lagnesh can be a very big curse. And if it is, then this exalted Lagnesh is great. And the other misconception is debilitated Lagnesh is bad. Okay, so good and bad for what which area of life there are so many areas of life so suppose a planet is exalted in the sixth that may not be that great for marriage but what if a person wants to follow celibacy if a person comes and tells to you that i want to live like a monk then you might say oh this is the best thing to have you are not only following celibacy externally but you are very happy and you are fully aware. Now imagine a person who is dreaming about marriage and love, romance and relationships. Ah, exalted planet in sixth in the bhav chart. Mm -hmm. Difficult. Because then the person will be forced to follow celibacy okay, externally. So then mm, that becomes like a living hell for that person. Okay, So before you give a blind judgment on which planet is uh, good or bad, uh, but see, every planet is like uh, an employee of the horoscope. <laughs> yeah, so ultimately it's not about a planet. It is about your life and uh, the horoscope, which is you, right? One planet does not represent you. Many times people say Venus is in debility, my marriage is ruined. No, Venus doesn't represent everything about your relationships. There are so many other players, you know, 7th house, 7th lord, 2nd house, 2nd lord, 11th house, 11th lord, the Navamsha is there, Saptamsha is there, Sastyamsha is there. Planets aspecting your Venus, planets aspecting 7th house, 7th lord. These things are there. These will combine and make up for you, which is the individual, all right? Just Venus doesn't do that, all right? It's not like this. So, so, this is what it happens and you know, another misconception is that um, the dusthanas are always bad for the lagnesh okay so here's an example that i give you if, if the lagnesh is in sixth then this can be very good if a person wants to be a monk or a celibate okay but if the person if the overall horoscope is supporting marriage and you know the upcoming dashas are supporting marriage then this is a difficult position why because then the person's mood, mind is not there. So Dasha is like externally things are happening, but his mind is somewhere else actually. Okay? He's not wanting to stay with the spouse. He's just staying because he has to stay or some, some formality or you know, some, some reason. So, so th this may not be good for that person. Now, suppose um, sim similarly, if uh, Lagnesh is in the uh, 12th house, okay. And the overall horoscope is very harmonious for uh, spirituality. Then, depending on the placement, I'm very careful with the 12th house, depending on the placement and the overall chart, 
this can be good sometimes if the person goes abroad or to foreign lands in that case it can be good okay similarly eighth house so if lagnesh is in the eighth house of the bhav chart then is it good or bad people think it is bad well of course it's not a ideal thing to have lagnesh in the eighth but suppose this eighth house is linked with the ninth house okay so then what will happen as soon as there is transformation or you see eighth house i call the eighth house of the graveyard smashan where you feel as if you are dead okay so that's like losing a loved one or that person has left you or that person uh, has left this world something like this so that's the eighth house eighth house is the core house of depression basically okay suicide mental trauma it's everything which makes you feel as if better life was much better if i would have died okay it is that feeling which tells you better don't leave you know, just go and uh, end your life it is that feeling that's the eighth house but now suppose the ninth house is strong and jupiter is aspecting here the person's moon or the ascendant or the lagnesh then what can happen this hellish situation which the person has can make the person very spiritual the person may go and seek shelter of a guru so do you call the transformation good or bad wow it's fantastic now the transformation is difficult but the end result is fantastic okay but now suppose the overall horoscope is very difficult okay fourth house is afflicted moon is afflicted you know the person has you know like uh, saturn aspecting this eighth house you know these are like horrendous things which you can get in a horoscope so or uh, moon rahu uh, moon, moon is aspected by rahu or you know rahu is also aspecting the eighth house so these are like the most difficult placements you can get so in that case if the person also has lagnesh in the eighth the person might uh, end his life okay the person might commit suicide because the person is only seeing darkness there is no light ninth house is not there jupiter is not there if the ninth house ninth lord and jupiter is not there there is no light in life it's just a waste of time how much ever money or how much ever good married life you have it's such a big bloody waste of time because you don't know who you are you you don't know the soul the concept of atma so what is the use of all this these things i knew is going to perish these things will help you provided you are aware of atma otherwise such a waste of time so so then this same uh, lagnesh can be uh, very bad okay but if in the previous situation it was fantastic so so the, these are things which uh, you have to see actually so these are different misconceptions which people have okay and um, there are many other misconceptions uh, another thing is um, for example the dispositor of the lagna lord that is also very important so people think that if the dispositor of the lagna so they say okay lagna is in debility okay so like for example uh, taurus lagna venus in fifth house venus is in debility so who is the dispositor of the fifth house it's mercury who is dispositor of venus it's mercury virgo is ruled by mercury so now they they say that oh if the dispositor is exalted or dispositor is well placed the debility is cancelled something like niche phaga that is that is also very subjective and uh, it again depends if if that debility is good for the horoscope then this uh, dispositors being very strong is very bad for the horoscope and similarly if uh, the debility is good for the person and then the dispositor is also strong then this will uh, magnify the power of the horoscope okay and uh, whenever you, it comes to ascendant you another misconception is they only check the lord of the ascendant okay yeah that's not good because when you, whenever you talk of ascendant you have to check so many planets the first planet you should check is the sun you must check the sun he is the karaka for the ascendant okay however good your ascendant lord is unless you are a leo lagna if your ascendant lord is well placed but if sun is having challenges that's another trouble okay so don't just go okay lagnesh is well placed okay so then then you check sun first you must check the sun no doubt on this then you must check mars because mars is the ruler of the original first sign of aries 
Mars shows your desire to be a part of this world actually mm -hmm. and get things done and Sun shows your desire to be the king actually so that's why they are friends you know <laughs> so then Mars will tell you to what extent can you uh, handle challenges in life to what extent can you cut through things you know in life then you must check Jupiter because Jupiter is the uh, Karaka for Jiva who enters the first house it's the jiva the living being the living entity enters the living entity is jupiter it's not sun mars it's not the lagnesh it is jupiter and then the sun is there sun is the conception of being in this material world then there is mangal mangal is the body if you don't have a body then what kind of an existence do you have in the material world right so uh, jupiter is sattva Surya is Rajas and Sattva mixed and Mangal is fully Tamas. Okay, So you must check these three planets irrespective of whichever Lagna you are. So suppose you are Taurus Lagna. Apart from Venus, you must check these three. So if Venus is badly placed, quote and quote, don't just give a blind judgment. Your horoscope is finished. Don't say like this. Okay. So these are the misconceptions which people have. They, wherever you talk of Ascendant, don't just check planets in the Ascendant or the Ascendant Lord. Never do that. Please check Sun, please check Mars, please check Jupiter. You must check these three. Okay, These three will tell you to what extent the final fruit will uh, come actually. Okay, Otherwise, if you just say, oh, Lagnesh is in seventh, it is good, it is bad. Lagnesh in Kendra is good, Lagnesh in Trikon is good, Dustan is bad. So, these are very blanket statements. Okay, So, be very careful when you make such statements. All right? Thank you very much for your patience and if you are new to the channel then please uh, subscribe to it below and if you want a consultation you can go to exoticastrology.in and God is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and if you want to watch other videos on Ascendant I put it here. Okay.